It has been called modern day slavery, and Texas is one of the few states leading the country when it comes to human That's trafficking. That's because the law gives state. The problem is so bad. Attorney General Greg Abbott launched a new trafficking and organized crime unit, and now an organization right here in Austin is doing its own part when it comes to sex trafficking. This week, they are holding a big event that you can go to and become a part of this, learn more about it. This morning, Janet Reeves and Jamie Ivey are with us with Keep Austin. And free. Good morning, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Let's start off with you. Um, you were like me, like I am right now, probably two or three years ago, not even realizing that sex trafficking was an issue right here in Austin. It felt foreign. How can that be going on in our own city? So, that, how, how did you discover this problem? That's right. About three years ago, Janet and I went on a car ride with a girlfriend of ours, and she works with human trafficking victims here in Austin. And she pointed out places all over our city where women were being trafficked. Trafficked. And I had never ever, I thought that happened, you know, around the world and not here in Austin. And I got out of the car with her that day and I looked at her and I said, I wish I wouldn't have come with you. That's because, because the now law I know. Of state rules so until about next it. Spring. And so that's how I first became aware that this is actually happening right here in our city, mm -hmm. that women are being trafficked. And traffickers will, they'll talk, they'll coerce women into doing the commercial sex industry by fraud, lying, abuse. And so then these women get trapped in this and can't get out. Mm -hmm. And I know you've read some books on this topic as well and there were days when you just had to put the book down and you couldn't read anymore. Yeah, I read a book a couple summers ago and it literally changed uh, just the way I thought about it. Um, and I would literally read a chapter and have to pause because my brain had, it had no space for what I just read. Mm -hmm. And that's happening right here with our girls in America, U.S. citizens. It's happening right here. Sex trafficking occurred <laughs> in every state last year. There there's no state that is immune to this. Mm -hmm. And so you couldn't really sit back and do nothing at this point. It was it was bugging you. It was pulling at your heart to do something. And so and you two were in the car together. When yes, you we, went were, on we were. We were. So you put your heads together. And Janet, what did you guys come up with? Well, that's what we were like. What can we do? Now we know we have to do something. <laughs> And so I thought, I don't know what, I'm, what I have the capability of doing. And Jamie said, we can raise awareness and we can raise money. Mm -hmm. So we kind of put a team of people together and we're like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And so we partnered with Redeemed Ministries who are already on the ground doing things. We didn't really want to start something else because right. they've already laid the groundwork. And so... We put our heads together and we did kind of a play on words of our theme of Keep Austin Weird and we call it Keep Austin Free. Mm -hmm. And it is the night that benefits Redeemed Ministries and we raise awareness of, of what's happening here in this city, letting people know that it's real and money yeah. because that's what we, we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you open people's eyes um, and their hearts to this issue happening right in, in mm -hmm. our own city. This is the second year yes. that you guys have done this event all about fundraising for Redeemed Ministries. And this uh, the, the event is coming up this Thursday night. And it there is. are still tickets available. Last year it was sold out. Yes. And there are still some tickets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'd love for you to join us. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, and I think you'll put the link up. But keep mm -hmm. Austin uh, free 2016.com. You can buy tickets. Yes. And we're raising money for an assessment center. Yes, yeah. yes. So we're seeing that there's steps to recovery for these girls and putting them, rescuing them, putting them in a long-term recovery center is not necessarily the first step that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So Thursday night we will be raising money for an assessment center right here in Austin. We have, we have um, been told from our police that it is necessary. Yeah. Redeemed is, has found out that we need it and it so when a girl is rescued they will be able to go straight to this 30-day assessment center where we can find out their needs and and like what is what's their next mm -hmm. step and the 30-day center is different from what you're calling the long term facility, the long term care facility, yes. that really wasn't working like they thought. No, I mean it works for girls that kind of qualify to go into that recovery, but taking them straight out of the life and putting them in a long term recovery center where there's already girls that are progressing in their restoration and in their recovery and then bringing somebody who's like very fresh off the streets mm -hmm. and out in that world, it, there's a there's a problem. Mm -hmm. And so we're saying we've got to have this assessment center kind of to put them there so we can kind of see are they are they a missing person? Do they need to be in another state?
Do they need to go to a drug rehab or on suicide watch, you know? Yeah. And we really want to take care of them so well and, and make sure that we get them to the proper care that they need. Yeah, get them on, get them on the right track. Yes. Mm -hmm.